Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we're back in my basement. I still haven't done anything to my bookshelves. Life is busy. Um, I don't even have coffee. I know. I'm wearing short sleeves because it's 77 degrees outside today here in Ohio. And my curls are popping today. Let's go. I got a Dollar Tree haul and it's a big one. It's a big one. First and foremost, um, hello, Mrs. Myers at the Dollar Tree. This is a scented bead wood diffuser. So I'm going to show you how you do it because I'm going to leave it down here. I'm having company soon. So I took the little sticker off. You, The sleeve comes off. And then you have this little thing here that's full of wooden beads. But you don't take it apart. You just open this. Mm, it smells really good. You slide that in there. Put this back on. And depending on how open you make these, tells you what your scent is going to be down here. So we're going to put this right behind me and see if that makes things smell fresh. It doesn't smell bad down here, but it's a basement. Try to avoid any musty smells. Um, I grabbed this container. It's in the party section. I love it for a gift basket. Look at the design. I mean, I think it would be great too if you were having like a popcorn party or something because you can scoop. The back is higher, but I think this would also be good for some type of a gift basket. And because I'm making those shortly, I'll show you. Um, they did bring back out these uh, America cookies. My niece said they're not bad. She likes them. Uh, they're made to look like a Cheryl's cookie. So if you're here from Ohio or if you get Cheryl's cookies, it's just a decorated sugar cookie. Um, the best by date. So I don't think they technically go bad. There's no best by date. Oh, best by. And then it just says deco cookies there's no oh manufactured by so there's no best by date oh wait 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 found it may of 2023 but they're good i uh, you'll see i have a few of them um i picked up one of these candy cane lights it lights up so you take the bottom off and you put batteries in here. Now, the only downside to these is you have to go out every night and turn them on if you want to put these out of doors. But I feel like they're so big, even, even if you don't want to light them up, you can just put them outside. You don't have to light them up. Because I can tell you I would not do it. I will not go outside and light up every night. It's just not going to happen. I know me. I may have the best of intentions, but... Let's put this down a little bit. I'm also on a new phone recording, so let's see how that works. Um, I picked up these. These are fantastic stocking stuffers, gift ideas. They're delicious. Um, but I love the height that they will bring to any type of like gift basket or something. And for $1.25. Now, watch out because I'm seeing these at like other stores for still a dollar, just so you know. Well, while I'm on food, as I don't think I have much more food, I found these, which I think are great. I got four, but they come with three different. So you have a peppermint hot chocolate and it's Swiss Miss brand. And I just think, again, if you are doing a gift for somebody, like even a teacher, you could tape a gift card to the back of this. Um, it's just a cute little presentation. Put it in a basket. Then they had with the marshmallow with a little fox. And then they have just milk chocolate. And yeah, they had these and then they had Nestle as well at my store in different packaging. I went with the Swiss Miss. No other reason. I found these Yes to Lip Balms. Now, we all know that I'm obsessed with a lip balm, but this is not why I picked this up. This is Avocado Nourishing, Fragrance-Free Nourishing Lip Balm with Hyaluronic Acid to Hydrate Dry Skin. But I got this for my cuticles, right? I mean, it's all the same. If it's good enough for your mouth, 
it's going to be okay for your skin, I feel like. Um, I can't get it open, but I have to cut that open. But what I do is I just rub this around my cuticles and then rub it in. So this will go with my like hand cream and stuff. And I thought this was some really good ingredients for something of that nature. Obviously, you can use it as a lip balm as well. Now, this is straight up nothing but lip balm. And if you're from my generation, you remember these. Uh, Bonnie Bell used to put them out. It was a brand growing up. And wait till I show you this mess. This is like, get it out of here. The package is eating it. Okay. So it's just a little tin, but. Ah, I want it open. Okay, there we go. And you slide it open. Oh, it smells like watermelon. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. Oh my God. This takes me right back to like seventh or eighth grade. I loved these little tins. And then when you're done with it, you can just keep the tin and clean it out and use it for something else. But mm -mm -mm. it takes me right back to eighth grade. I know. Um, okay, got some other stuff. We're going to be doing a couple DIYs. I'm just taking a bag so I can put this stuff in it. I picked up two packages of floating candles. These are great for the holidays for uh, table decor. And grab them while you can because I, of the five or four stores I went to, I only saw them at one. So just so you know, if you see them, if not Walmart, I'm pretty sure has them. If you're a TikToker or have seen social... Ouch. That hurt. Social media, I was moving my body and my finger. Okay, enough drama. Um, on social media, you've seen where my other purchase, they fill a container with like clear gel beads and float stuff. I have a DIY coming up where I use all Dollar Tree materials to make that. So check that out. It'll probably be up next week or later this week, but um, I needed a vase. This isn't the ideal vase, but I will give you a little funness. These floating candles from the Dollar Tree fit exactly on top of this vase. So if you wanted to do something and not float these in water, and you wanna do like a dry scene down here of some sort, uh, probably what I would do is cover the bottom in foil or something and then tie a ribbon just so the wax doesn't melt through into your scene. But that fits perfectly in the opening of that vase. I was looking for the straight sided ones, but I haven't been able to locate those. So, so be it. It will be this this vase, which I got for that DIY. A lot of this stuff will be used in a couple DIYs that I have coming up. Um, again, I bought these. Now, this is not the ones you will use. This is green beads. I wasn't paying close enough attention. I'll use these. I mean, they just smell like pine. Although, from what I've gathered opening a couple of the other containers, they don't really smell like much of anything. You can add these as well. These do have a scent to them, but we're using Dollar Tree stuff. So I grabbed these in the air freshener section. I'm gonna move this off my table. All right, now we're not in any specific order because I just have a mess. I just have a mess. We're gonna do a little taste, a little try here. I found these at my Dollar Tree. The brand is Essentials. Beautiful light moisturizer from nature. 100% vegan, clean formula, cruelty-free, scentbeauty.com. I find this very interesting. I'm trying not to break the packaging because I may want to gift these. What is that? I don't know if I can scent it and then re-stick stick it. We're going to try just want to smell it okay oh that is lovely it just smells like moisturizer it smells like a natural moisturizer there's no um oh it's very thin natural moisturizer i don't know if i like that i love the bottle 
So it comes out, it's very thin. And it just smells like lotion. It doesn't have like a botanical scent to it or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna show you, if you can see inside the bottle, it's very liquidy. Oh, I know why. It comes with a pump. I was trying not to open this up, but that's why it's so thin. It comes with a pump. Hold on. I'll open the other one. Um, it doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel gross. This is gentle evening scent, and this is happy hour. Hold on. Let me take the sticker off. Maybe. There we go. Okay. So... It's interesting in the package. You get a little pump. These are so adorable. That goes in here and then you can pump your moisturizer. Oh, I love these. If you see these, I think these would be a fantastic little stocking stuffer. And very obviously reasonably priced. I have no idea what they cost outside of the Dollar Tree. I didn't look it up, but check it out. The brand is, and they're made in the USA. Edge Beauty Inc. is who they were made by. So I thought that was pretty cool. And this will go with my Manuka Honey Scrub. Somebody's getting a little beauty kit in my life, which I think is fantastic. I found one more of these little trees. I need to trim it up. Just needs a little cleanup. I'll take that off and this. And it's going to go in my bedroom. I purchased at a craft fair over the weekend a woman was selling something similar, but she was recycling uh, cable knit sweaters and it was red. And I was like, that's perfect. It's much taller than this. So um, yeah, I think this is perfect. I need to find a little pair of earrings or something like sparkly to put on the top because that's the other one is. So I have two of these and a tall one to make a little scene on my dresser in my bedroom. And this one has some gray in it, which I think these are fantastic for one shiny dollar. And 25 cents. Okay, we got some more stuff here. Now, I picked up one of these snowflake ornaments, which I think are fun. Um, I like that it's double-sided, for sure. And I will show you, I have, well, I can show you right now. I'm moving. And I grabbed another one in blue because so I'm not sure which one and I don't know if they'll even fit in here but I want to stand something up I don't think this one is gonna be it we got a minute right you guys don't mind watching me do things on the fly this was five dollars and I picked it up at the Target Bullseye Playground here let's get a trash bag going um I'm feeling this moisturizer still I'm not, I don't I'm not mad my hands feel nice and soft. So this, oh, it's nice. It has like a plastic, so it's not clanky. Um, I don't think this one will fit. I'd have to trim it to get this up in here. But let's see. Which I will if I need to, but my goal is to have something up there. This one is probably not it which is fine, but this one here has a lot of glitter. I could also just take these little middle pieces out and hot glue them together and create a small snowflake and then attach it and hang it. But I wanted to put something in here. Now the bottom is hollow, so I will have to put some foam. And I'm not gonna move this away just yet because I have another one in a different bag. Look, I'm trying to be all organized here. Okay. Now, for the floating thing, I picked up some bows. I'm really into decorating this year as well. So you're going to see me do some videos on maybe de wrapping some packages. But I just grabbed this little pack for some decorating idea I have. But this comes with, and I don't even think this is just Christmas. I think this was in their regular voila section. But you get six bows, which I think is a good oh, purchase. Sorry, I'm dropping stuff. Um, is it a great purchase? No, I don't use a lot of bows because of the cat. So I don't need a lot. I did get some table scatter. 
um, again, I love this stuff. I think it's super fun. It's so lightweight. You can, and you can just uh, like attach it to anything. It's styrofoam. So it'll float in water if you want to attach it to something. I mean, these are fun little scatter. There is a ton of glitter on these. Just keep that in mind wherever you're putting them. And maybe if you're putting them somewhere like on your table, you could do some um, hairspray on them. I found these. Uh, another YouTuber was showing them and she didn't seem to know what they were for. I'm almost 100% sure uh, that these are hair barrettes. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to get it. It's, they're taped on the back. Happy Holiday Made in China. It does not say that it is a Greenbrier product. So I'm not saying it's not a Greenbrier product. I don't know. The packaging does not say Greenbrier. So I don't know if it'll be at all the different stores. And that's, oops, I just ripped that off. But I can, ooh, make it a mess here, guys. I just ripped the wreath off, but I can hot glue it. But this is 100% a hair clip. Now, could you use it for something else? Absolutely, any kind of decoration. But let's look at this one. I love it. It's a little bow with Santa feet. The feet are not attached. They just naturally cross. But I feel like this I ripped off by accident. But what I will do is just put a, devil, a dollop of hot glue and stick it back. But I think these are adorable. If you have a little or if you want to just decorate something with these, you totally can. Put it on a little tiny mini wreath. That would look adorable as a bow on some little miniature wreaths. I think would be fantastic. But... I grab those because that is what I do. Right, right, okay. I'm sorting, I'm sorting. Um, I grab some of these. Now I thought I would use them when I do the gel beads, but they don't fit in this container. But if you had a tall glass vase, these would stand up in those gel beads. And you would have like just icicles. And I think these are pretty cool. So I will use some for something. I mean, they're a great deal. You get six of them. You can hang them off a wreath, hang them outside with your Christmas lights, put them on your Christmas tree. I would not. I don't hang too many dangly things on my Christmas tree. Again, cats. Cats. That's the answer to all of my life's problems. Cats. Um, I grabbed this. Now... I know that this is not the chopstick that I will use. I really just wanted the lid. So I'm gonna open it. Because again, we have all the time in the world here, kids. What I would like to, I mean, I, we'll see. It doesn't, it just sits on there. I just wanted the snowman hat. And I'm gonna glue it like this and I'm gonna glue it on one of my Christmas Um, let's see. I mean, this is okay, Chapstick. I'll give it to somebody. It just says believe, and it's candy cane. But I really just bought it for this little tiny Santa hat. And I'm going to glue that right here, and then I'm going to hot glue this whole hat on the top of my Chapstick. My peppermint, uh, Burt's Bees. This is going to happen. So if you see these on the go, give that to your kid. Give them the the chapstick and you keep the Santa hat because we need those in our life. Just saying, I need them. Um, I almost died in the store when I saw this. And it says, I believe in Santa paws and we have cats and dogs. What? And Alex and Wellington are represented I'm dying. I'm literally dying. They have the little microfiber towels. I don't like them. I don't like the way they feel, but I will use these. I put one of these on my end table. So when I have a cold drink and it sweats or my hot coffee, when I spill it, I use these as like coasters. <laughs> but I'm dying. Let's do a, fame, a thumbnail. Where'd my eyeballs go? Over here. I love it. So I grab those. Everybody should have these in their life and you get two for $1.25. I know. 
Uh, more Christmassy stuff. I just love these. Little treat bags. Right? And it's just a snowman. And it says letters to Santa. And I love them. They came out with a bunch of new treat bags this year. And I'm kind of there for it. I saw one of the smaller ones that had like trains all over it. Which I thought were cute. But these are great. You get 20 and you can use them to share cookies. I tend to put like Christmas cookies in them. Tie them off and then share them with folks is what I tend to use these for, but they can be used for a myriad of things. We've all seen them a million times. Right, right, okay. Over here, so outside decor. I picked up these this year. I've seen them before, I've never got them. And I was like, darn it, this year I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna put my Christmas lights out this week. It's 70 degrees this week. So I grabbed just one of each color. And what my thought was is run a string of colored lights down my garage, because that's where I decorate, and then evenly space these out. These are, let me just put those down. These are ouch, solar. So they will charge up during the day. And then at night, you know, when the lights go off and they're fully charged, they will, I think they blink. They may just shine, but... And if they don't do anything, they're still a nice, cute, big bulb to put outside. Now, can you take them apart? That's the, oh, you can. Now we just got a whole bunch of crafting possibilities because you can take them. Oh, I see. You have to go in here and turn them on. You turn them on on the inside. And you can't really see because this is not charged, but they blink. Maybe they do something. I don't know. Oh, when it gets dark, they go on. Okay. So in you unscrew them on the inside and you have to turn them on. But how fun is that? Just to make some kind of a other decoration. So I thought these were fun. I'm going to hang them outside this year because I'm putting out Christmas lights. I, I typically do, but I haven't the last few years. And I thought these were large enough that four will be sufficient with regular Christmas lights. If I decide that four is not sufficient, I can always just go back to the store and get some more. Right, right. Okay. These were the other two cookies I picked up. I got a Santa and a belt, which this should be black. I'm not sure why it's brown, but okay, we're going to go with it, Dollar Tree. Probably because black doesn't really taste yummy. And then I got the little gingerbread. Now, it's not gingerbread cookie. It's These are both vanilla. But I think these are adorable. And they will keep until Christmas. I'm going to use these as a little something-something for somebody. And then the other one. Because we all know I don't eat these cookies, right? If you don't know, I do keto. I don't eat sugar. I just buy it. Um, For some crafting pleasure, I got some large jingle bells because I love them in gold, green, and red. Silver's fine, but I think these are more fun. Santa's coming to town. So I grabbed those. This is a repeat every year they have these out. If they didn't have them out, I would be shook, right? Um, also, I grabbed some of this. It's large glitter. It's gonna go in one of my DIYs and the same color scheme. So you'll have to watch out for my DIY videos to see what I'm using some of this stuff for. But this is fine glitter. It's nice and big and chunky. Fine glitter I love for other purposes. But for what I'm going to do, I need the chunky. I love this brand of pork rinds. And I have to pack my lunch tomorrow. So I got that for my lunch. That is literally the extent of that. I picked up one of these. I feel like I have others. This is for crafting purposes. I'm going to either rip this paper off the front or I would just do decorate on the back. But I love these, these are nice and thick wood. It can stand up kind of on its own. And quite frankly, I might just leave the bottom that says happy holidays and do something different on the top maybe. I don't know, we're gonna do something with that, but I thought I love those for crafting. Um, Just for some crafting purposes, I grabbed one of these. This is removable tile. Um, I can't just, it is sticky. So I'm going to use this for crafting purposes, not for sticking on my wall, but you can use it for your wall. But I thought this was fun. This 
design here in the middle. If I ever get to it. Guys, I have all these plans for crafting, but then life, you know, life happens. Um, oh, I don't know if this is new or not. I don't feel like I saw it last year, but it just says joy. It's one of the table. Um, oh, 50% cotton, 42% polyester. Oh, 58% cotton. Um, it's just a, co a placemat. You can make pillows. This doesn't have the backing, so you'd have to buy two if you wanted to make a pillow. But I like this, and I think I would just put it on my end table by my chair. I liked it this year. I like the gray and the red. I love gray and red together. And I thought that would be fun, and it would make a good dealie. Okay, this was the other snowflake I got. This feels very... Um, frozen to me. Oh, I was hoping it would fit up in there, but it will not. And this one I cannot cut, but wouldn't that have been perfect up in there? But that's not going to work. Okay. Okay. Back to the drawing board. Uh, but anyway, I love these for winter. And if you can see, it's a pretty blue and there's not glitter on it. It's just plastic. But I love these for like winter time opposed to like Christmas time. And then the last seasonal things I purchased were these and they're adult coloring books. So I believe I got something similar last year. This is Color the Season. Now these are definitely for your more advanced coloring enthusiasts. And if you can see, like you can just rip pages out. And this is all the season. So this is, this has everything. Summer, spring, winter, fall. I know I bought this one of these, oh, look at those birds. Like, I just love sometimes sitting down. And the one I bought last year had her on the front, so I am pretty sure I have this book. A turkey, apples. I mean, it's just fun. If you have anybody in your life that enjoys coloring or that meditative, this one is, these are great. So they have that. And then they have Winter Wonderland, which is just, oh my God, look at the penguin. And then this is a more of a medallion and ornaments. Oh, ugly sweater. And this one just says, keep warm and cozy this winter. And they all, you know, they have a winter theme opposed to a Christmas theme. So I loved this one as well. And then I got two of this one on mistake. <laughs> but I'll just give one to Sarah. But this one has snowmans and mittens and just again winter themes so there's probably some similar pictures in all of them but i do love that oh look at that that the backs are plain and you can rip them out it's serrated here so i can really just i mean you just have to um so if you had a group of people sitting around and everybody wanted to do a picture it just rips right out I just think these are a lot of fun. So I do have extra of that for my girl. And yeah, I just like to leave these around my house. If I have company, I have plenty of colored pencils and markers and you just go to town. Okay, the last thing I purchased um, is for a little celebration I hope to be having soon. So I grabbed three of these. These are 14 inch Mylar numbers. So I got a one and two zeros and you can blow them up manually and then they can sit on a stick or you can hang them or you can fill them with helium. Uh, these are pretty decent. I was looking at ones that were 20 inches and they were $15 a piece. So I grabbed just those three and then I grabbed some confetti. This one is pastels and they're confetti tubes and there's a way to do it. I forget. There's directions inside. Um, what I don't want it to happen is to go off right now. So you tear the paper seal off the top. Once uncovered, keep upright until ready to inject. Hold the tube elbow bent, quickly flinging tube forward to eject the confetti. So you must go like that, like throw it. 
and then it ejects the confetti. I don't know. We'll try it out and see. So that is everything I purchased at the Dollar Tree. This week, again, I think we're having staffing issues. A couple stores I was at had one cashier on a Friday evening. Like, that's not okay because the line was back to, back to the back of the store. And I felt bad for her, you know, because people are in there for a reason. They were getting flustered. So I felt bad for her, but, you know, unfortunately, not a whole lot we can do. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you're enjoying my Dollar Tree haul today, and I will talk with you later. Bye.